Marjorie? Yes. Hi there. Hi there. Be, I'm Alan Shackelford. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Alan Shackelford, and I'm a physician. And I've also had sciatic pain. Although that How far down does that go? Gotten... I see primarily adults. We see a lot of MS patients, lots of cancer patients. Most of these people have medical problems that haven't responded well to conventional treatment. An evaluation for medical cannabis, it becomes sort of the, the last resort. And I'm really humbled by the opportunity to evaluate and potentially help people for whom other treatments have failed. Hey, Joshua. Take care. See you later. Thank Bye. You. How are you? Good to see you. Come on back. All right. Right in here, please. You know where we're going? Yep. So, thanks for coming down. Yep. Let's recapitulate a little bit, okay? Okay. Remind me again what happened here. They uh, did some testings and came up with the conclusion that I'm stage three colorectal cancer. They took my colon, appendix, and rectum out. And, and you were 30 yeah. at that time. Yeah. And you're now 31. Still 30. Oh, still 30. You're right. Yeah. Okay. May, May is when I turned right. 31. Right. Okay. We're going to have a. We'll celebrate that. Yeah. Okay. Research around the world has shown that it, in laboratory settings, can kill a variety of different cancer cells, and it can prevent the growth of blood vessels into a tumor that uh, would, in essence, cause the tumor to, to stop progressing and die. And you've had how many courses now? Of chemo? I, of chemo now, I'm seven, nine, and I have five to go. In the morning is when I get hit with nausea the worst. Okay. So, every day? Yeah. Whether you on active every, chemo or not? Yeah. Okay. I've been on pain meds every day since August 31st. Right. Ranging from Dilaudid to morphine to Oxycontin, Oxycodone, Vicodin, Neurotin. All. Is marijuana more effective than all those things? Yes. Have you been able to stop some of those things when you were able to use the marijuana? Yeah. There are studies that are very supportive of the role that cannabis can play in uh, making pain control more effective, for whom traditional opiate analgesic medicine is not fully effective. So the pain control is, 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 is just as good with CBD? Mm -hmm. Wow. I've noticed that, yeah. And you're more functional? Yeah. That's phenomenal. I'd rather just be on this all the time instead of Absolutely. all my other pills, which all are going to take time getting off of. Right. And, and I don't want you to stop anything yeah. abruptly. I won't, I won't. Josh is not a 25-year-old getting pot. Josh is a, is a young man who is ill with an extremely serious life-threatening illness. And um, cannabis, for him, has been a remarkable remarkably effective treatment for uh, conditions and symptoms of his disease and, and, and consequences of treatment of his disease that no prescription medicine really was okay. effective in treating. Okay. What I think is important in, in Josh's experience is to, to see that there is a place for cannabis as a treatment. And it isn't necessarily the only treatment, but for some people it is the best treatment. <laughs> Good. Worked out great. Okay, so we'll schedule another time. Okay. okay.